Hey guys, it's your girl It's Elise back again with another video. Today I'm gonna talk about things I wish I knew to balance college. If you end up liking this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Definitely remember to subscribe to support my channel and also comment down below what school you go to. I definitely love to hear. Without further ado, let's get into these tips. I highly recommend you start this tip as early as you can. Basically your college plan. Your four year or how many years you're gonna be to college plan. This can include mapping it out by semesters. That's what I personally do. I'll actually have a screenshot of a note I created specifically for my semester by semester plan. I looked into my degree work section in your student portal at UNC Charlotte that lets you know what classes you need to take, making sure that you always check up on your degree works so you're up on scale with what classes are easier for you to take now than later. So for freshmen, I highly recommend you take your gen eds just straight out of the way. Some people take their gen eds <laughs> literally like in the last two years they're about to graduate from college but honestly i believe that to be a pain in the bud There's a lot of people that are like upperclassmen always be complaining about oh i have to take this stupid gen ed i forgot i have this gen ed i have to complete i encourage you to take those gen eds like between your first and second year of college so you can get them out of the way because right now since i did that all i have to worry about is one class and it actually covers two requirements i need always be communicative with your guidance counselor about your route that you want to go with your major Major. because a lot of times people change majors sometimes people want a double major this is definitely going down to what do you want to pursue as a career very intimidating especially for people that are still trying to figure out what they want to do so it's okay to just come into college as I'm undecided honestly I give props to people that come in as undecided because you are still giving yourself that chance of understanding what you want to pursue as a career and what major that you want to choose so you're not choosing a major and then you're like far into it or even in the middle of it and then you're like ah never mind i want to change my major also when it comes to gen ed classes and especially for freshman year that's probably gonna be the time that you're gonna start introductory classes for your major it's definitely important to have a balance so how many gen ed courses are you going to take with your major class i believe for my freshman class and i'll have a note on my screen if i'm incorrect i believe i had two gen ed classes two classes for my major so in total four just a quick disclaimer i checked my degree works and i actually took six classes but the way it was for me was it was three gen eds two of them were my computer science classes so i recommend you split it into three that's kind of how i see it so three gen eds three classes from your major but of course check with your major if there's prerequisites you still need to fill out so it's like you're not making any progress with your gen ed that's cool you're making progress with your major but you still need gen eds to graduate. So it's definitely very important to have a balance with the two because they both go hand in hand. Download UNCC's academic calendar. Just map it out in your actual physical planner that you have or in your phone. The calendar indicates important registration dates that are very important. It's payment dates for you to pay for your classes that you register for. And then on top of that, it has important dates for holidays. They're bound to change so it's important to even stay up to date with the calendar digitally as well because it can always be up to change but of course i believe they'll send out emails of any changes that may occur with that for registration this is the most nitpicky and tedious part of your college career my first year i didn't know what i was doing but when it comes to registration knowing the right professors to take a class with literally for my science gen ed requirement I was going to take astrology. I was in there for one class, dropped it. I didn't think of the fact this is a college astronomy class. We're not going to be going outside at night looking at the stars like we're in kindergarten. We're actually going to talk about the theory of why there's a nebula explosion 5,000 years ago and um, the Big Bang Theory, but more specific than we did in high school. So I was like, geology anyone the a or b in that class that was easy because all we're doing is looking at rocks which leads to my next tip that i wish i knew i wish i knew that the further you get in your college career based on your major there are going to be some professors no matter what you try to do to steer out of their way you end up taking them for a class i'll tell you right now the math department at unc charlotte needs help but they do have good tutors that are there so 
yeah, I've had my fair share of having really tough math professors and then currently right now statistics professor out of the two of them that's at the school he goes off of four test grades which i believe is so unfair so definitely do your research on the classes you're taking and which professors are available for those classes because there might be a time where you're gonna have to take the class with that professor that everyone hates but then you get some gems along the way i've still Luckily, most of my teachers have been good teachers. A good resource to use to like research on those professors is Rate My Professor. All you have to do is just type in the professor's name and specifically say UNC Charlotte because there could be multiple people that have the same name as that professor. And you'll get a rating on what that professor has been rated based on students that have had that professor before. But most importantly, I would ask students or friends of yours that have took that class before. Definitely very helpful. Read all of the teacher's syllabus. That syllabus dictates if you are successful in this class or not. Everything up to attendance policy, grades, is in that syllabus. And a lot of times the professors include the assignment schedule, like this assignment is due that day. We're going to be talking about this subject that day, but read the syllabus, like, oh God. And then this is for like when you've already registered for your class when it comes to required textbooks. So a lot of times you can find free textbooks online. Like for my statistics class, I'm not paying $100 for that textbook. Literally there's a free <laughs> ebook online you can download. Also, I highly recommend if there are required textbooks that you literally need for the class. I recommend in the first week of classes, you should wait at the end of the week, depending on what the assignment requires for it to be complete. So if you got an assignment and it requires for you to have that required textbook for that class, just buy it so you complete the assignment. But if the teacher, usually in the first week of classes, the teachers aren't really that crazy with schoolwork and whatnot. Usually it's just read the syllabus and that's it. But yeah, I would say at the end of the week after you've had all your classes, just make sure you know is this textbook required or not. Usually the professor should tell you if the textbooks are required or not. If they don't, just simply ask. See if there's any cheaper options on Amazon or any rent option in the bookstore at the school. And then I highly recommend, especially if you're like a computer science major or if you're in a major that has like a lot of requirements, definitely try to take summer classes. I wouldn't say like every year, but just like for me, I really wanna graduate in May of next year. I'm basically taking summer classes over summer because honestly, it's already online. Also, online is giving me this flexibility of being anywhere I am, but completing the classes is to help you keep up the pace with you graduating on time. But I will admit with UNCC, summer classes are very fast paced because it's a less amount of time. So I highly recommend that you choose classes that you do need, but aren't very tough for you to grasp early alerts so based on your grades you've gotten so far in the class they send a report via through connect that indicates if you're good or if you need to be concerned about your success in the class and based on that you would get an email from ucae i believe that makes sure you know about the resources you can use to basically help your chances get boosted more to being successful in the class. When you get that email, usually they entail UCAE tutoring service or they even know talking to your teacher about anything you can do to kind of help improve in the class. Some of the classes they have tutoring for is like stats, math, computer science classes, specifically the introductory classes for computer science, but and so many more. This is a quick tip you can use integrating your Canvas calendar into your Google Calendar. Basically, you can go on your Canvas and you can integrate all of your assignment schedules that are usually integrated on a calendar in Canvas and you can put that over onto your Google Calendar as well. Definitely very helpful and make sure that you don't forget your assignment. Another good tip of staying on track with school and just handling all the stress is working in groups and also in study groups. This is definitely very helpful, especially in big classes like accounting and econ that's usually up to like 99 plus students whenever you take accounting or econ usually with hard subjects like that they have study sessions for classes take advantage of going to those 
live group sessions. Make sure you ask questions if you have them and make sure you pay attention to how they're going through the problem because that will definitely help you so much when it comes to the actual test. Doing personal projects outside can actually boost your chances of being recognized by recruiters because they love seeing students that are integrating what they've learned into something personal. Like a community-based project, whether that's with volunteering, sky's the limit on how you want to go about that. But that's just an optional tip on if you want to kind of stand out. And then this is again with gen eds or which is classes overall that you take for your major. There are classes that you can take that can cover two requirements that you may need. So for example, one class I'm taking for computer science, but also for a gen ed is computers impact in society. That actually covers two requirements that can just knock out the park now. And it's actually easy class. And then also I noted this in my UNCC things I wish I knew before college video is definitely a limit to how you should be active on campus if you want to still be successful at college academically. I highly recommend even newcomers into UNCC to just join up to one to three clubs. There's so many of them and I know can get very like, oh, I just want to join everything. But if you want to keep a balance with school academically, but also socially, one to three clubs is a good estimate of how many you should join. And then writing and color coding everything in your planner and your notes that will keep things organized and like have you be more enticed with your notes. It can help you be up to date with your work. It makes it more happy and exciting to me when especially if you use bright colors. So based on each class I give it a color. For the assignments I write it the same color from the class it's from. So then it's easy for me to know, oh, so this assignment is from this class because it's that color. And then also, if you are more of like, I write it down to remember, I recommend keep your planner open. Like, and in a place where you can see it and you don't forget all the assignments or things you need to do. Or keeping something visual like an on the wall calendar board so you see what you need to do and you don't forget about it. Because a lot of times, at least for me, when I put something away, I forget about it. That is pretty much it. If you ended up liking this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also comment down below what school that you go to. That'd be so cool to know. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys found these tips helpful. Let me know in the comments. And that is a wrap on Italy, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.